So I've introduced all the language now uh, to you uh, regarding Venn diagrams and you need to be familiar with that language in order to be able to solve the questions because the questions now will be that you have to shape the required regions in the particular Venn diagram. So, so these, are, these are two separate questions. I have a universal set here and a different one there and I have to shape the, the regions. Okay, so let me just divide the two questions like that. Let's have a look at the first one. Of course, we always look at the brackets first, okay? And what does it say? It says A union B, which means in A or in B, part of it doesn't matter. However, it continues then and says you had a complement of that. So that actually means everything outside of the union of A and B, okay? So now I am everywhere outside the union of A and B. But I'm continuing because it also has to intersect with C. So what should I be shading that is this part? Because all the elements in that shaded part are outside of the union of A and B but intersect with C. All right. That's how you construct, or that's how you how you approach a question like this. Okay. The next one, the next question. What are they saying? They are saying the intersection of A and B. So it has to intersect with A and B. Yeah. Union C. So it can also be part of C, like that, and like that. Okay, so it needs to intersect with A and B and it can also be in C. So everything inside of C and everything inside the intersection of A and B. Okay, explainingmaths.com for more free resources or find me on Facebook or Twitter and ask me your question there. Okay, next video, more examples. I'll see you there.